Hello everyone. So it is Halloween-a-thon and I love a good ghost story. So I kind of asked a friend or two for a recommendation on like a really scary ghost book. And I got a few recommendations from someone that I deeply adore and trust. However, the book that they recommended to me did not really fit my need. And it's all good. It's all good because, you know, I have recommended authors before, maybe Wendy Webb, who certain people think are like Hallmark movies and hated them. So it's all good, right? Like, I still adore this person. Um, but this book made me laugh the entire time. Now, technically, I'm not done with it. I have like 20 pages left. Uh, basically, we had state testing today. And so I read while the students were testing and um, I just need to do this video now because I have loads going on and I want to get it up. But I will put in the comments if for some reason my viewpoint changes in the last 20 pages. But basically, this book, Hex, which has a really cool cover, um, is about this town. And this town has a witch in it. And it's this whole story about how the witch became a witch and became like a ghost almost haunting their town. But anyway, basically this town has set up this whole security system and is basically like on lockdown, on quarantine kind of within their town because um, apparently, and I don't really quite understand it, if they were to leave and move somewhere else, like bad things would happen. Um, so they have to all stay in their town they can go away for the day, but they can't really stay overnight anywhere else. They can't really um, get into a relationship with anybody that's from a different place. Or if they do, it can't be a long-term thing where they eventually live together. Nobody from out of town can spend the night in this town. This town is only for the people that live there. And they have this huge security system where basically um, their computers are only allowed to go on certain websites and everything is monitored. There are security cameras everywhere. And basically um, throughout the book, this witch is kind of moved around the town. And um, I shouldn't say moved, like she moves. But I guess why this book was so hilarious to me is because um, I just got the image, you know, in board games where there's like a little character and they have like the circle base that you like, you know, move them around on like they're like posed on top of this circle little base. And this is what I pictured her as like, I can't really describe what was in my head. But basically, if you take like a base of a board game piece, um, and then on top of it, you put like kind of like Dobby the house elf um like in, wearing like a cloth that's kind of like tattered like Dobby and kind of hunched over like Dobby however a witch that's skinny with her eyes sewn shut and her mouth sewn shut so only Dobby in its posture and clothing but witch like in the eyes sewn shut the mouth sewn shut sewn shut and kind of skinny hunched over and maybe like a pale pink like this is what I pictured okay and basically the witch would just go places I shouldn't say the witch she is a witch but I'm just using that because like she wasn't scary to me she made me laugh and I do think if I saw this as a movie I would be scared but I'm just saying in the book format it just made me laugh because basically like you would just be living your life and then all of a sudden she would show up at your house or something, but she didn't like move around. Like she would just like freeze. Like she was a board game piece just suddenly in your house. And um, like people wouldn't want to look at her or whatever. So they might like throw a towel over her head or something. So like she's still in your house, but there's a towel over your head, over her head. So you can pretend she's not there. Um, I just, the way I pictured her, it was just hilarious the whole time. So basically the reason her eyes are sewn shut and her lips are sewn shut is because she will like communicate things to you that will make you want to do stuff um, that is unsafe to yourself or those around you. So um, if you need trigger warnings, let me know. Um, but yeah, and so 
Um, basically, the book kind of took place um, mainly around some teenagers who were kind of like just rebellious, not really, I don't know if they didn't believe bad things would happen, but they just kind of thought it was funny to like mess with her uh do certain things to her because she's just frozen there like she's just like a giant board game piece um and yeah that was not a good choice in addition uh there was this other lady who tried to make friends with her because she thought that if she became friends with her and like gave her offerings and the like that um her and her son would be well taken care of and that she wouldn't come after them um but some of the stitching on the witch's mouth was coming off so like if you got close to her she could whisper things to you that would make bad stuff happen i don't know honestly the whole book i just pictured her as a board game piece and it just made me laugh so um i'm not mad i read this it just was hilarious to me so um if you want a funny book hex might be it um at least in my opinion so on to some real scary stuff. made homemade tempeh and right now i'm gonna make myself dinner and i'm going to fix myself my homemade tempeh which is basically fermented soybeans with fuzzy mold on them we'll see if i survive 